Hey everybody, what's happening? It's <clears throat> got a little product review here for you today. Uh, this is, as you may recognize, a digital picture frame. Uh, this uh, particular frame is the Insignia uh, NS-DFP9G model. And uh, as you can see, it's actually, it's really, really nice. Uh, it's uh, a nine inch picture frame, so measured diagonally. It's, uh, it has a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, so you get the nice wide display, which is good. Uh, the cool thing that I like about this particular picture frame is there's no branding whatsoever. Uh, it's just a nice clean finish, clean frame, apart from the smudges, of course. But that is that would happen, you know, being a, a glossy frame and all. Uh, it's a good thing to keep one of these microfiber cloths around. The resolution of this guy is a 800 by 480 resolution with a contrast ratio of about 500 to 1. So you actually get really really sharp looking pictures. Uh, just taking a little tour. I don't know if you could, if the camera would pick up the little dot here but that's actually an infrared receiver for the remote that it comes with and uh, the remote is fairly straightforward. You have all your basic controls, forward, back, left, right, etc, etc, slideshow, menu, zoom option, back to the home screen. Um, and so on the side here we have memory card ports, we have the compact flash, uh, this one is a multi uh, card reader port, you have the uh, SD, MMC, MC and uh, XD, it also supports uh, SD, HC for the High capacity flash cards. On the other side we have the power adapter. Um, it connects to the computer by way of a mini USB and there's also a nice little remote holder. You just strong line, shove the remote in there and it holds it. And of course you can also connect a USB flash drive. On the back uh, you have your standard stand, I guess. Uh, this can also be rotated, so you could have it in uh, portrait or landscape mode. There is mounting hooks, so you can actually hang it on a wall, and same if you hang it uh, in a portrait um, sort of orientation. And the on and off switch. Alright, and on top of course you have all the buttons. That's the back button. Uh, this is more more or less uh, navigating the menus, so up and down, left, right. Uh, this can also be used to switch the pictures from left to right. Uh, start, stop, or enter, play, pause. For enter, of course, for selecting items in the menu, and then play and pause when you're in picture mode. And of course, the menu to actually get to the menu, and if you hold the button down, it would put it into a uh, sleep mode. All right, so with that said, let's start this puppy up. And I just have a few pictures on here, just a few random pictures, but these are actually low quality pictures. Uh, either ones I've created with just in fireworks or something, or just uh, pictures I had sort of laying around. But if we take, say if we take this picture, we'll stop here. And uh, the cool thing about this frame is it has a built-in accelerometer, so it can actually adjust the, um, sort of rotate the picture based on its orientation. So that's kind of neat. And then it goes back to that mode. It's just a few pictures I have on here. Um, it does only read JPEG files, which is, you know, it's okay for the most part, but it does not read uh, PNG files. So, um, if you have a lot of different files in a different format, you have to convert them to JPEG first. Uh, so let's go ahead and plug in a flash drive. And there's a cool sort of cool feature that I want to show you with this. So we'll go ahead and plug in the flash drive. And these pictures here are. Um, 1920 by 1080, so these are actually HD pictures. They show up really, really well, and they load really fast. 
So here's a picture of uh, just, I don't know what you call that, like a, a ridge of some sort? Anywho, um, here's a really nice picture. This is actually an HD picture as well. So they show up really, really nice with that, uh, with that 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Um, let's go take a look in the menu here. If we go right back to the main menu, of course this is reading from the USB device. Um, so we have internal memory, so you can read pictures from the internal memory. Uh, in this frame there's a uh, built-in one gigabyte of internal memory, so plenty of storage space for just on-device picture viewing. And of course you have access to all the, the different other types of media here. I'm just using the USB device right now. Now if we take a look in the setup menu, you have a whole bunch of things you can kind of play around with. Slideshow settings, uh, you can set the interval which is really nice, uh, 5 seconds all the way up to a whole day, so that's cool. The other picture frame I had before this did not have this option and it froze a lot so it was really really not the best picture frame. Uh, you have different slideshow transitions, I just keep on random but you have all different sorts there. Um, I'm just going to go through this really, really quick here. Image display format, normal, zoom, wide, and cinema, which is nice. You have a uh, color type. Power saving, I usually keep mine off because I don't like to save power. But, um, so it's all different sort of languages. English, Spanish, and French are the built-in languages. Uh, you can sort the images by either A to Z or backwards or by date. And in the factory settings, um... Just goes back to demo mode. This is a basic picture frame. There's no uh, internet connectivity. So there's no Wi-Fi. There, you can't email pictures or anything to it. Uh, that sort of stuff. So it's just your standard uh, picture frame. Let's go back here. I wanted to show you something really cool. What I thought was interesting. Um, inside this USB device here, I have this picture. And it's actually a panoramic type picture I put together. Uh, basically, the height of the image is uh, 480. So these pictures are 480 pixels high by the native um, sort of width, which was 800. So what I've done is took three pictures, uh, both 800 pixels wide, pumped, stitched them together to create this panoramic view of basically outside my house. And uh, you can see right now that the uh, frame actually resized the picture to fit it all in there. Uh, but there's also, there's a really cool mode though, so this is just standard right now. But if I go back to the menu, uh, go to setup and go to uh, slideshow settings, panorama scroll. If I turn this on, uh, head back to that picture that I made, specifically for this video of course, head back there we could see that the, that the image would scroll. So if you have a, a, any panoramic shots that you've done, uh, they'll show up really, really nicely on the screen as well. So that I thought was pretty amazing. And then of course we just have oops, uh, regular pictures after that. So all in all, a really, really great device. Uh, like I said, I got this for uh, Christmas. And uh, but uh, if you look at retail price online, like I'm actually, I have the site pulled up for bestbuy.com uh, right now, and it's $129.99, so not a bad price for a frame. And I like it that there's no branding too. There's no software that came with the device. Uh, it's basically just plug and play. You could hook it up to your Mac or PC, and it shows up as just a standard drive. So like I said, uh, only supports JPEG, um, 800 by 480 resolution, 501 contrast ratio, 9 inch across with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, and that's pretty much it. If you're going to pick up one of these frames, I'd recommend getting a microfiber cloth just to keep it clean and shiny. But other than that, this is definitely a great buy. I am pretty happy with it, and I'm sure you guys will be happy with it also. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, my email address is mike at lordneverdie.com. Uh, send me an email. I'll be happy to help you with anything. As well, you can visit my blog at lordneverdie.com. But for now, that's it. Adios.